He just ends this turn again? Did he just break really hard? My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. Oh, <laughs> jeez, never mind. I can't use any of this trash. <laughs> What's going on everyone, Magic Spedison, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Jewel Links video. Today we're gonna play around with some aliens. That's right, today we're gonna play with a pretty budget deck, so like if you're just new to the game, this is a deck that you can pretty much just make pretty easily, honestly, so let's have a quick look at it right now. Now, let's get into it. So, the deck, look, it's pretty, honestly, like, I know I have some ultra rares, they're not really required. Like, all these, all these super rares, uh, these ultra rares aren't really required. They're nice to have, but they're not required. So, most of the deck is made up of, like, pretty cheap cards, honestly. So, we have our alien buddies here, and the whole deck is based around the idea of A counters. Little alien counters that you can put on your enemies' uh, monsters. So, we've got things like this. So this card allows you to throw an alien in the graveyard and place the amount of A counters that on the opponent's monster that equates to the level of the alien. So if I threw my telepath here, you see it's a level four monster, it would put four A counters on the enemy. And all these monsters, um, they can either place A counters on the enemy, like the, the warrior and the overlord, or they can use the A counters to destroy things, like this destroys spells and traps. Um, this can put A counters on special summon monsters. Uh, this can put an A counter. This it just uses A counters. It's really cool. And also another cool thing is the more A counters the enemy has, the weaker they become essentially in battle. Because you can, as you can see, uh, if an A counter monster battles an alien, it loses 300 attack and defense for each one. So that's really, really, really cool. But if you guys are enjoying the Dual Links videos, then be sure to destroy that like button. Rebels from do this is actually the first time I've been using. Well, the first time I've used or tried to use an alien deck, I literally hopped onto the ladder really quickly before. I did one duel and I won. So I was like, maybe it could be good then. Maybe we could uh, maybe we could try this out. You know, get something going with this. But we'll see, won't we? We'll see. And uh, if you do want to support the, the other cool stuff that we do here on the channel, I know there's a lot of Pokemon going on. I mean, there, there is it's mostly a Pokemon channel, but if you do want to support the other stuff, that'd be greatly appreciated. This is a Mako, and this makes me scared because Sea Stealth Attack is something I'm not too, uh, I'm not too confident against facing. So, if this is a Sea Stealth Attack deck, we may see, ooh, there's some Mako Mystic Dips, okay. Do I want to use Restart? Do I want to use Restart? I kind of do want to use Restart. I, yes, I want to use Restart. Okay. The aim here is to start off with that, that quick play. I, I showed up before that quick play spell. Uh, and there it is. That, the, the aim is to start off with this spell right here. So actually we have a pretty good starting hand here. Decent. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw out my alien warrior. I'm going to throw down, going to throw down a couple face downs and end my, wait. So this is destroy a monster in the field with an eight counter on it. And then you can special summon. That's, that's more of like an OTK type of deal. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll just end our turn. See, see stealth attack. We're gonna have to play very smartly around this. It's beatable, but it's a really, it's probably the, one of the best, it's probably the, like a tier one deck, one of the best decks in the game right now. Ah, so he's going defense mode. He's going defense mode. See, that makes me think like, what, is it a Yomi ship? Do people run Yomi ship anymore? But people, generally, if you're facing against aliens, what you wanna do is you don't wanna reveal what your monsters are. You don't wanna have them face up on the field. So that way I can't use my, I mean, I, I can use that actually. I could put an A counter on my own monster, but that really, really wouldn't make much sense actually. <laughs> All right, let's just go in the battle phase. Let's just go for the attack. I want to see what happens here. Like I might as well try and trigger something here. Uh, it is, ooh, it's a screech. It's a screech. Send two water monsters from your deck to the game. Ah, and the Mishizur follow up too. Wow, look at you go. Look at you go! Okay. The Mishizur follow-up. I, I like that, but it's okay, because we might have OTK potential next turn. Oh, what's this? Wait, no way. Oh, there's a still Del Whale, okay. Uh, and there's a Cloudian. This is interesting, okay. I'm interested now. I'm interested to see exactly what's up. Uh, and I say, hey, what's going on? I wanna know what's going on, my dude. Will you tell me? You're gonna set another monster. Okay, hopefully I draw into a monster here then. He's not letting me get any A counters out, which really annoys me. Um, uh, should I just set another... He Eventually he's going to have to attack. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw out another one of those quick plays. 
I'm just gonna end my turn. I don't have any monsters to summon, so I can't can't really do anything with that. Uh, there's the sea stealth attack. Now that now that kind of sucks. Cause I think if he uses the effect of the sea stealth attack, it might remove the counters. Uh, see, he activates that this turn. Uh, that's not too great. That's pretty bad, actually. That is. And then he summons up. Okay, okay, I might lose here. Unless I do this. Unless I, I think, unless unless I do this, I lose, just straight up. So I'm gonna put some counters on you. Oh god, sea stealth attack is so scary. Okay, so actually he's gonna banish the, oh wait, 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 the fool. I have another one, ha <laughs> I have another one. <laughs> this, is, this is great, actually, this is great. Uh, so the first card I'm gonna send to the graveyard is I'm gonna send an alien overlord right there. So I put six on him. See that right there. And then I'm gonna send, I guess I'll just send my alien kit. I don't really need that all that much. Um, that's not gonna do anything, but now I can activate my brainwashing beam to steal his warrior of Atlantis. So he's not gonna get any damage off on me and I'm just gonna be able to scoop that boy up. So his brainwashing, I'm gonna brainwash I'm gonna use my brainwashing powers on his warrior of Atlantis, and now it belongs to me. Now it's my warrior of Atlantis. Okay. Ooh, I got the cosmic cyclone here. Now, do I wanna, hmm. What do I wanna do here? I, who? He could protect, okay, okay. This, this is kind of a hard decision to make. Uh, actually, I, what, the first thing I can do, the first thing I can do, the first thing I can do is banish this and add a monster to my hand. I probably want to add my alien overlord. Uh, I, won't add, I won't use anything here. I want to add my alien overlord to my hand. Yep, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Decent start here, decent start. I'm trying to go for like the OTK right here. Actually, I think I can get it. If he banishes that, I can get it. Because I can special summon this out right now. Yep, yep, take those away. Take those eight counters away. There you go. Throw it out there. We can get the OTK potential going on here. Can I use another one of my quick play spells here? Can I, oh, I can add another, I can add another alien to my hands. Ooh, okay. This is, this is pretty good, honestly. With deck thinning, thinning potential, the deck thinning potential on this is crazy good. Now let's add, let's add a telepath to our hands so we can get some uh, spell and trap killing potential as well. All right. Now what do I want to do here? I think we got this. I, I think we got this, because I have, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we definitely got this, my dude. We definitely got this, my dude. Okay, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use another quick play spell here. I'm gonna use another A cell recombination. I'm gonna add it to his Warrior of Atlantis right there. If he's gonna if he uses the effect, then he loses. Straight up, he just loses. Cause I can yeah, he's not gonna do it. He can't you know he knows he can't do it. He knows he can't do it. I'm gonna throw you in the graveyard. There you go, he has four counters on him. I think I would just win now. And uh, I can use I can use mysterious triangle. Yo, this is great. I can destroy this. I don't even have to. Do, I don't even have to throw out the the monster because I mean I can't. He he he, he dips. He dips. We won. We won. <laughs> oh my god, this deck is crazy. I love this. I actually kind of love this. This deck is crazy good. Damn, son. Yeah, he just dips. He straight up dips. He's a dippy dude on a. I love it. This is great. Okay, next next duel. Next duel. All right, next duel, we got a Bones coming up here. Now I'm scared that this Bones is gonna be another alien user because when we have two, when we have the mirror match going on, that's when things get really awkward. But you actually start off with a really good hand here. Let's see if he restarts. Let's keep a close eye on his, his restart right here. Let's keep a close eye on his restart. If it's magnets, then it's fine. If it's aliens, then this could be a bit of a dodgy uh, mirror match, but we'll see, we'll see. Do I want to use a skill? I don't. Okay, he goes first. Let's see if he's gonna reveal what he's using. He literally just ends his turn straight up. Okay, well I'm gonna throw down um, a recombination device. I don't wanna, wait. I should just go for the attack. Honestly though, do I wanna just go for the attack? Let's gonna throw down the brainwashing beam. I wanna get some damage off on him. There's no reason not to, I don't think. Do I wanna, let's throw once and once and reveal. Uh, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I'm just gonna go for the attack. I'm just straight up going for it. Like, it might bite me later on. I don't think it will, but let's just go for the attack here. 
All right, let's get some damage off on him. Does he have a Sphere Karibo? He does not have a Sphere Karibo. I do not believe he has a Sphere Karibo. We get a nice little 1800 damage off on him just like that. That makes me think that he's playing aliens. Or maybe he just bricked really, really hard. But we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. Now he has to go on the offensive. He just ends his turn again? Did he just brick really hard? Bro, if you just bricked really hard, I am so sorry, my dude. I am so sorry if you just bricked super hard. We'll see, we'll see, hold on. So I'm gonna just go for another He has no spear, Karibo. Dude, what is your deck? Actually, now that I think of it, I should have... What I should be doing is I should have an extra deck. I should have a five card extra deck at all times. There's no reason not to have a five card extra deck. Is he gonna pop off? Is this matter? He just ends his turn, dude, dude, what happened? Bones, I'm so sorry. Bones, what happened to you, my dude? What is the, what is the issue? Bones, I, I'm so sorry. I, that's it, Bones is dead. I, I, I'm sorry. Wait, oh, he does have a Sphere Karibo. He does have a Sphere Karibo, okay. Is he even gonna, or is this the connection issue? This might be the connection issue. This might be the connection glitch. But that is it for Bones, dude. That is just it for him. I'm so, I feel so bad. Poor baby Bones. Poor little baby Bones. Yeah, that's gonna be a victory right there. Unless he's just like, what's going on here? Yep, yeah, connection error. We got the connection error. I feel, I'm so sorry, Bones. That was, that was almost mean. That was almost just, I, you gotta feel a little bad for what's uh if you when you brick that hard, like you have to feel a little bit bad. Even just a little bit. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna add some uh stuff to my extra deck. Even though you're not using an extra deck, you wanna have it there just 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 in case. You know? You just wanna have an extra deck. Cause you wanna make your opponent think that you could potentially have fusions or or uh, things that you're using there. You know, you wanna make them think. So I'm just gonna throw in some some nonsense there. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use any of this, obviously. I'm just gonna throw it in there. So it's it's there now. I, it's all ultra rares. Yay! Yay! All right, let's go back and uh, let's just keep going. Ooh, we have an Alexis Rose. It was a Cyber Angels. Are we gonna face T Stealth Attack? Oh, we gotta. Oh, this is my rank up match. We gotta win this one. We gotta win this one. Here we go. Full on try hard faces on boys. Uh, this is a great starting hand. I will not be restarting. Uh, I'm just gonna. What do I do here? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw down. No, I shouldn't have summoned. Actually, that's fine. I'm gonna throw down both of my face downs there. I'm gonna call it a turn right there. All right, Alexis, are you gonna Cyber Angel pop off on me? Is that what's gonna happen here? We're gonna have a 10,000 year turn in which everything happens. Is that that's usually what happens with Cyber Angels? That's usually what happens. I might lose. Oh geez, I might lose. Wait, whoa, Pathfinder. What? Did I just, did I just activate? No, you're just gonna do that. Ooh, it's Arrow Mages. Okay, okay, I like this. I, li I like I like facing Arrow Mages, because that's it seems like a really cool, like interesting deck to use. Okay, you're gonna set a couple cons face down. That's fine. And you're not gonna summon anything. Now that's understandable. That is understandable. Now, I kind of wanna, mm, yeah, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw Alien Gray face down, I think, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and uh, bait out Wall of Disruption here. Time to battle! Let's see, I feel like a Wall of Disruption is coming. I really feel like a Wall of Disruption is there. So I'm just gonna try and like bait it out. There it is, there's the Wall of Disruption. We managed to bait out, which is, it's it's decent. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Unfortunately, now I have zero attack, which you know, kind of sucks, but uh, it's it's all good, it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn right there. Arrow Mage is okay. We just need to try and like make that, the, the aim of all card games is to make your opponent use their resources while you can kind of conserve your own, you know? That's kind of, that's that's the main aim of card games. All right, you summon a monster in an attack position. What is this? When you take damage from an opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, okay, well, this is a really strange kind of deck, but okay. Interesting, interesting. He's gonna go straight for the fight, okay. I'm gonna activate, ooh, you go for my face down. Do I just let that go through? I kinda wanna just let it die. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it die. I just, just yeah, kill my kid, dude, kill my kid. I mean, sorry, my gray, my gray, my gray, my gray. Don't kill my kid, kill my gray, kill my gray. Do, do not kill children, please. I'm not, I'm not condoning that at all. All right, so I get to, when this thing dies, an A counter gets placed on the opponent's monster and then I get to draw a card, so that's pretty good. All right, here I go. 
Oh, I should have used my ACL recombination device before the turn ended. Oh, I'm misplaying, by the way. Um, you know what? I am gonna. Uh, first thing is first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate the effect to destroy this thing. We might be able to go for OTK potential here. We might have OTK potential. I think if we can destroy this and have that be fine. Yep, windstorm. Oh, windstorm is gone. All right, we may have OTK potential. One turn KO. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm by OTK. I just mean like straight up, just go all in and just blast past everything and basically destroy her entire existence in one turn. Uh, so I'm gonna go for the six because I'm trying to get the. I'm trying to get the victory right here. I'm trying to get the dub. You know, we're trying to get that dub. I'm gonna special summon by removing eight counters from you. Yeah, I'm gonna gro throw you out there. Um, I'm gonna throw. I don't think I can. Oh wait, I can. Can I destroy one story with an eight counter on the special summon? Um, destroy during the end phase. I kind of. I wish I had. Yo, wait. Two hundred. Two hundred IQ play. Hold on. Two. I'm gonna place eight counters on my own monster. Two hundred IQ play. Watch this. Watch this, my dude. Watch, dude. If I mess this up, I'm gonna feel really embarrassed. But watch this. Hold on. Okay. So I'm gonna summon you out. I think this is the way we play around this. So I activate the effects. I put another eight count on you. So that should bring you down to I think zero. Three hundred times five is fifteen hundred, almost zero. Which uh, and then we go into wait. Do we go into the battle phase? Try moments to counter. Did it expect someone wanted? Yes. Okay. Go to the battle phase. We attack with Overlord. As long as we don't have a Sphere Karibo, I think we win. I think we win. Yep, goes down to zero. Uh, I'm gonna activate Mysterious Triangle. I'm gonna destroy my zero attack monster. To special summon out a monster that can attack. Yo! Yo, look at this, dude! Look at the power of this- This is so good! I love- dude, aliens are- oh, I hope aliens don't get nerfed. Dude, aliens are so fun to play. I hope aliens do not get nerfed. I'm gonna be so mad if aliens get nerfed. This is such a fun deck to play. All right, we're coming in against your boy Seto Kaiba. Let's see, can we get all wins today? Can we get all wins? I think with this deck we potentially can. Like as long as long as we don't get like a mirror match, I think we can potentially just get w w w w w w w. You know, even though we're not playing that many jewels. W w w w w w w. Seven jewels? That's a lot, dude. I can't play seven jewels in one episode. Oh, he has the potential to restart. Is he gonna go for the restart? I think I'm going first. Okay, so what are you, what are you playing? What was that? Is that Destiny draw? Wait, are you playing Destiny Heroes? Welcome That's kind of interesting. Okay. I, I like the idea of that. You're playing Destiny Heroes. That's kind of cute. Uh, I'm just gonna go on kind of the defensive here. And hopefully my Alien Grey gets attacked into. And then we can kind of play around, do some fun stuff, you know? Do what you do. Well, let's see. I, you know, I need to kind of look up the effect of the Destiny Heroes because I don't know what any of them do. It was that new? Okay, so this thing does, it can toggle one face of spell, your opponent controls, destroy it, uh, can't do that. Well, you have no cards in your hand except the turn that this card was set in the graveyard, banish one, da da to draw two cards. Okay. So it can't, it can't use any of those effects right now. That's fine. Yes, battle me please. Battle me please, do it dude, battle me. I'm watching. I'm trying to learn dude, I'm trying to learn from the best. Alright, so you get an A counter. Uh, this gets destroyed and then I get to draw a card. So that's perfect. There we go. I can't. I, I got two cosmic cyclones. That really, honestly, does not help me out that much. Uh, now I'm gonna go for the A cell recombination. Oh my! I I, I have all the stuff. I held all the spell and trap removal, but I can't use it. It's a little bit silly, but okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw away my. I'm gonna throw away my kid. Don't really need the kid all that much. Now you have five counters on you. That is that's pretty good. Uh, I draw into Alien Overlord, which is. Oh my god, that's fantastic. I can then activate my effect here to add another alien to my hands. Dude, there's so much you can do with this deck. This is so fun. Okay, I guess I'll add, I'll add my big boy. I'll add my big boy to my hands. Uh, and then we can special summon the alien overlord by removing counters from you. A, dude, this is, oh my god. I cannot get over this. I really cannot get over this. I'm gonna throw another Cosmic Cyclone face down in case he tries to fill up his back row next turn. Uh, and then we're just gonna go completely on the offensive here. 
Might as well, honestly. Might as well. Dude, how much damage right now? Look at look at this damage. Look at this. I just won. I just won. Wait, he has a sphere curbo. Did I just win? Does he have a sphere curbo? He doesn't have a sphere curbo. I just won, dude. That's it. Turn three. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This deck is so fun. This deck is so fun. I love this. Oh, that's that's a that's a that's a feels good man clap, dude. That's a huge feels good man clap. All right, so that was a just a bunch of W's. One, two, th wait, how many? Okay, so I got one, two. We got three win. I mean, four wins in a row, right? That just like bam, 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 like that. Aliens are so good. Hey, if you want to check out a new deck to use on Jewel Links, would recommend the boys, the Alien Boys. I actually thought they were like kind of low tier, but now that I've used them. Big thumbs up. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did, guys did enjoy this video. Uh, and make sure to subscribe for more Jewel Link stuff uh, if you'd like to see. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed seeing Jewel Link stuff as well. And you know, comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about aliens, just in general. Extraterrestrials. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.